Firefighters battled a large blaze at South Africa's National Parliament complex on Sunday, where officials feared damage could be extensive. The fire, which started in the office area of the complex, spread to the National Assembly building where South Africa's parliament sits, according to Public Works Minister Patricia DeLille. There were no immediate reports of injuries. This is a very sad day for democracy for Parliament is the home of our democracy, DeLille said, according to the Associated Press. Speaker of Parliament, Nasivai Wamapisan Kakula, speaking to Newsroom Africa, urged against speculating on the cause until police could investigate and deliver an official report. The full extent of the damage is not yet known, but J.P. Smith, a Cape Town mayoral committee member responsible for safety and security, predicted it will be significant. The AP reported that authorities feared parts of the historic buildings could collapse in the heat. These are valuable buildings which we cannot afford to lose, Smith told told Newsroom Africa. He added that the fact that they're calling for more resources to assist is not a good sign and noted that the security measures in the buildings hamper the ability of fire crews. Dalil later told reporters that one of the oldest buildings in Parliament, the Old Assembly Chamber, was burning but the National Assembly was secured, per Bloomberg. Smith said at a news conference in front of Parliament that firefighters were dealing with a partial roof collapse, according to CNN. The roof of the building has collapsed, on the one side, and the fire has spread to the new assembly, according to the officers. They've detected large cracks in the wall, which is of concern. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa and many South African politicians were in Cape Town for the funeral service of Archbishop Desmond Tutu on Saturday which the AP reported took place about a block away from the Parliament precinct. Tutu died last Sunday at the age of 90.